Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open three more 2015 core set packs, and with me to do the pack blessing duties, we have Garuk here. So hopefully he will get us some better pulls than some of these other Planeswalkers. And if you're not familiar with this, you're new to the channel, we bless the packs to get extra value here. Sometimes it works, but more often than not, it doesn't. So that's why we have to cycle out the Planeswalkers. But without further delay, let's continue here. We have an Aeronaut Tinkerer, Zoff Shade, Invasive Species, Foundry Street Denizen Goblin Warrior. There he is. So this is another aspect of the channel. Some of you are probably sick of it by now, but I will do it anyway. So this guy, Creature Goblin Warrior, 1-1 one, one for a single mountain. So we're always wanting to highlight the goblins here. Whenever another red creature enters the battlefield under your control, Foundry Street Denizen gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. All right, very nice. Love the artwork here. Let's continue. We have Ranger's Guile. And by the way, who here has a goblin deck of any form? Would it be standard or modern or even a legacy or vintage deck? Is that such a thing? Leave a note in the comments. Continuing on, we have Marked by Honor, Welcome Turn, Eternal Thirst, Generator Servant, and I don't think I've seen this guy. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but does not look familiar. Jorabai Merc Lurker, Creature Leech, Pleasant Individual. Staff of the Sun Magus, Circle of Flame, and the rare is Caves of Koilos. Alright, so this is a rare land. Tap it for uncolored mana in your mana pool. Tap it, add a plains or a swamp to your mana pool, and cave Caves of Koilos deals one damage to you. Yeah. Alright, so nothing too exciting now. I'm not sure what that one's worth. But I would pop the value up there in the corner. And we do get a nice foil here. Tireless Missionaries. Creature, Human Cleric, 2, 3 for 5 mana when Tireless Missionaries enters the battlefield. You gain 3 life. And a Mountain. And an Add. And there's a Jani there. One of these Planeswalkers. You may have seen him around on the channel before. In fact, he was on yesterday's video. So if you did not check that out already... Had a fantastic gift from a patron, much appreciated Michael, and we had a whole ton of packs to open, so that was pretty crazy. So go back, check that out, our New Year's Day video, happy 2019, off to a great start, and look who we have here in the second pack, Krenko's Enforcer Goblin Warrior, there he is, a 2-2 for 3 mana. With Intimidate, this creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. Alright. And a Tireless Missionaries, no foil, not quite as exciting. Frost Link's Elemental Cat. Hammer Hand. What is he, some sort of weird superhero? Sign in Blood. Elvish Mystic, Forge Devil, Hunt the Weak, Tyrant's Machine, Pillar of Light, and the uncommons here we have Ulcerate, ooh, that's pretty gross, Leeching Sliver, who is a fan of the slivers? And they all seem to be fairly unique, this one's a Weird greenish treeish looking sliver. Geist of the Moors and the rare is Battlefield Forge. So we're getting all the lands here, the dual lands. So this one you can add colorless mana to your mana pool, tap it, add a mountain or plains to your mana pool, and it deals one damage to you. Alright, and a plains and a soldier token. Alright, final pack here. I don't know how much is worth. I have a feeling it's not too much. So we will have some extra blessings here. Sometimes that works. 
Hopefully Guruk hasn't just horribly posed us like his pal Ajani or uh, Jace. Those guys have a bit of a reputation around here. And look who it is, it's Crinkle's Enforcer again. At this rate, we're going to have a play set of those guys. Craziness. Okay, Razorfoot Griffin, Aeronaut Tinkerer, Vine Weft, Fester Gloom. And hopefully that was not you on New Year's Day. Out partying the night before. Torch Fiend. And my idea of partying was streaming MTG Arena. Sad, I know, but got some really good games in there against viewers, so check that out as well. Shaman of Spring, Selfless Cathar, Fugitive Wizard, Child of Night, and for the Uncommons we have another Sliver. What is this guy? This is a Venom Sliver. Okay, so looks again different to the other one we had this episode. Roaring Primadox, whatever that is, Wall of Limbs, fantastic, what is this, a zombie wall, that is not creepy at all, leave a note in the comments if you don't find that creepy at all, and the rare is a Scuttling Doom Engine, what the heck, Artifact Creature Construct 6646 six, Manor, Scuttling Doom Engine can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Okay, so no chump blocking there. When Scuttling Doom Engine dies, it deals 6 damage to target opponent. Nice. So this sounds like the sort of thing people might like to chuck in an EDH deck. Is that the case? Have you had great success with this guy? Leave a note in the comments. And we get a mountain. And there he is again. A Johnny Goldmane. Hogging the limelight. Subtle hint from a Ajani from the Planeswalker Exile Zone, because that's where all the Planeswalkers end up when they do not get us the great pulls. Okay, now my picks today. Um, I'm sure these lands are fairly useful, but they look pretty boring, so my pick in the rare slot will be the Scuttling Doom Engine. There it is. Alright, looks like he has some weird green claws. Crab-like creature, supposed to be an artifact creature, not sure how that works. And then my pick in the uncommon slot, ah, spoiled for choice here. I um, was going to look at the slivers, but, oh that guy is sort of weird. I want to take a look at the, the wall of limbs. Okay, so this is a creature zombie wall. So as you can see from the zero power, so it's zero three for three mana with defender, so this creature can't attack obviously. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on wall of limbs. Okay, so you're probably having, what is that color combo, black and white? You probably want to have like a life gain deck and pumping this dude up. So five and two swamps sack it and target player loses x life where x is wall of limbs power nice so you can i guess it is fairly costly though um pumping it up yeah so getting life gain and then you're subtracting that from your opponent so it seems good and for the common slot had to have a peek at that foil over there just in case didn't look that exciting um let's see here goblins would be a natural pick but i would pick goblins every episode and it might get a bit boring there's that guy he's possible i think i've highlighted that one before yeah you're probably saying look you went past it well let me know which one you would have picked how about this guy so the superhero known as Hammer Hand. This is enchantment aura for a single mountain. Enchant creature when Hammer Hand enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Alright, an enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has haste. Nice. Alright, so nice enchantment aura there. 
Leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.